how to determine between what two integers the square root of 10 lies. Find out in this video. Good day learners! Today we're going to determine between what two integers the square root of a number lies. So before we're going to proceed with the main topic, we need to memorize or familiarize the perfect squares from 1 to 20. So I have here the list. We have 1 squared is equal to 1, 2 squared is equal to 4, 3 squared is equal to 9, 4 squared is equal to 16, and so on. So, yung perfect squares natin dito ay sina 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, and so on. So, para malaman natin kung between what two integers or between what two consecutive integers a uh, square root of a number lies, kailangan natin i-familiarize or i-memorize yung mga perfect squares na pinakita ko kanina. So, let's have our example. Determine between what two consecutive integers the square root of a number lies. So, yung first example natin is yung square root of 10. So, saan ba or ano yung dalawang integers, consecutive integers, na napapagitnaan si square root of 10? Okay. So, para malaman natin ito, ilalagay natin yung square root of 10 sa gitna. Then, we all know that it is greater than a particular perfect square and also, less than a particular perfect square. So, ano yung dalawang perfect squares na magkasunod? Na kung saan napapagitnaan yung numerical value na 10. Okay. So, that would be 9 and 16. Okay. So, isusulat natin dito square root of 9 and square root of 16. Tama? So, si 10 ay napapagitnaan sa numerical value na 9 and 16. Na kung saan si 9 and 16 are also perfect squares. So, ilalagay natin sila sa loob ng radical sign as well. Then, after that one, we're going to simplify. So, since parang estimation lang ito, kukopyahin lang natin yung given natin na square root of 10. And, we're going to get the principal root of our uh, two perfect squares. So, what is the square root of 9? That is positive 3. And what is the square root of 16? That is 4. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung square root of 10 ay nasa gitna ng dalawang integers na 3 and 4. Okay, how about number 2? Square root of 32. So, isusulat ulit natin si square root of 32 sa gitna. Okay. So, greater than siya ng isang perfect square. At the same time, less than din siya ng another perfect square. So, ano yung dalawang uh, perfect squares na magkasunod na napapagitnaan yung numerical value na 32? So, that is 25 and 36. So, magkasunod yung perfect squares na 25 and 36. So, dapat magkasunod kasi nga yung instruction natin dapat consecutive integers yung makuha natin. Okay. Now, simplify natin. Kukunin natin yung root ng dalawang perfect uh, squares. So, we have square root of 25 that is equal to 5. Bring down square root of 32. Then, square root of 36 is 6. Therefore, square root of 32 is between 5 and 6. Okay. How about number 3? So, ano yung dalawang perfect square na napapagitnaan yung 117 na numerical value? So, that would be 169, or square root of 169, and square root of 196. Okay? So, we're going to get the principal root, or the root of 169. So, that is equivalent to 13. And of course, since consecutive sila, the square root of 196 is 14. So, ibig sabihin nito, yung square root of 170 ay nasa gitna ni 13 and 14. Okay, how about 87? So, sa so 87, 
ay napapagitnaan ng dalawang perfect squares na 81 and 100. So, simplify natin yung square root of 81. So, that is 9. And, yung square root of 100 naman is 10. Therefore, square root of 87 is between 9 and 10. Okay, how about the last number? So, square root of 350 yung dalawang perfect squares na magkasunod na napapagitnaan si 350 would be 324 that is square root of 324 and square root of 361 so pupunin natin yung square root ng dalawa so you will have square root of 324 is 18 at square root naman ng 361 is 19 Therefore, square root of 350 is between the consecutive integers 18 and 19. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.